So what does our kitty see in here? Hi, I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Hi there RV travel buddies. Today is a move day. We're heading down the west coast to Oregon and it was raining so bad we are soaked. You can kind of tell. Sherry's programming our navigator. Uh, we only have about 35 miles to go and uh, it's pretty nasty. It's pretty windy too but it should be safe. We'll take it easy. I'll drive like a senior. Oh well, that's right. I am a senior. Anyway. Off and running. <laughs> We're soaked. So our kitty, our kitty, our kitty is earning her keep. It appears that she might have found a mouse. Yeah, she's earning her keep in the RV. So if you need to know why you should have a kitty in your RV, because she thinks, she thinks that there's a mouse in this RV and I think she's right. We seem to have an unwanted guest in here. So battle is on. We are now equipped with two mouse traps. Sherry's preparing the war zone down below here by emptying out the cupboard. And we're about to embrace in the battle of RV versus mouse. So the, pa the plan is we're going to equip these mouse traps with peanut butter. And then hope our cat doesn't find a way to get in there. But I do want to give tribute to our cat. She's been sitting on the floor every day like she's been seeing something and we haven't been taking her serious until we started hearing noises and that's why the cat's been on the floor down there so stay tuned for the battle of the mouse versus RV so while the battle is on for the mouse we're taking some drawers out and, and getting ready to set up traps and stuff but I wanted to show you we had a hard time getting the drawers out so we actually went online and found a manual but <laughs> here's one of our drawers right here so in a Montana you have these little um, push button latches and we think oh you just push them down and slide them out but they're opposite one's a push down and one's a push up so when you're pulling these drawers out you have to pull one of these up push the other side down and the other thing we found out is it's not consistent on each side. It changes. So, anyway, I thought that would be some good RV tip for you. Is these little tabs, like I said, pull one down, push one up, and then jiggle it, and they unlock. So, hey, at least we learned something. So, as you can also see, our battle has grown to two cupboards. We've not spotted the mouse, but we've had signs of the mouse. No signs in this cupboard right now. And we're checking all our cracks and crevices. We did have some wiring done on the RV. So we're going to try to see if we have any uh, openings that a mouse could have got in here. Because we've actually taken a lot of steps to make sure we couldn't get a mouse in here. But we failed. But So we got kind of a mess. But <laughs> the war is on. After further analysis, we took a a small divider wall out where some wires are and we had two openings in the wall so we're going to tackle it by sealing those holes with uh, steel wool and spray on um, insulation it, it's a foam and I'll show you a picture of what that hole looks like and we're going to seal that up so our mouse might have gotten away so we may not catch him but we're still going to put traps out and our cat's on the prowl so anyway but it was a good opportunity to rearrange our shelves a little <laughs> as you can see we have a semi disaster and i'm going to seal up those holes and call it good and it was actually a good project anyway and we learned how, how to take the drawers out 
So if anything, we learned something. So these are the two holes back here that we want to seal. So we use steel wool and liquid foam. Get those sealed up. Keep the critters out. It's getting late at night. It's getting time to load the traps. So we've cleaned all the drawers and disinfected everything. And we have a special spot where the garbage can is normally at. We're going to take it out. Put the traps in there. And just in case the mouse finds its way back, which it should not. Doom for the... Doom! Doom! For the mouse. So we'll tie in with you in the morning and tell you if anything happened. So I've got my two traps set in here. And we're ready for the mouse if he comes back. Good morning. It is time to see whether we've caught a mouse or not. Oh, I'm not awake yet. But we're going to look. So we're coming down to turn on the light. We're going to open it up, swing the door open, and no mouse. No mouse. Nope, 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 nope. Take to conclude, we have scattered the mouse away from our unit by sealing up the holes. So we are concluding this as a win for the Scribners versus Mouse. The mouse has left the building. Have a great day. Bye.